those guys are too small and I have also a PS3 I use as well so I'm gonna use for this one and for that one as well for PS4 so hopefully this guy works and does the job correctly um, I really need something to, to, uh, to play my games because these guys are way too small the OE um, rubber shot for the um, PlayStation 4 and 3 so let's crack it up real quick first of all super, super package box the controller very simple with instruction which I dropped of course with the instructions very simple nothing fancy smancy no carrying case nothing over top so um, that's it to it take it out the package very simple very simple okay here we are now you see the, the cushions around the sticks so we get banged around smart that was smart that's clever so again use that cushion for shipping purposes take it off same thing here take it off and you see the red cover for the analog stick and um it's the same layout as my Xbox, I love my Xbox. Okay, see, same layout. The Elite. This is my Elite. This is the um, Pitch Tech controller. Same layout. Okay, quality? No, because this is light, lighter. This is because has weight to it. But like, um, if you look at it, you see the difference. And uh, it's an Xbox layout. All right, so put this back. And to feel of it, oh, yes. Now, of course, the analog, um, analog is kind of small. So I'm gonna put my, uh, my analog covers on these guys if possible, because they're kind of small, they're kind of small. So uh, again, you have a home key, you have a uh, uh, turbo, and Let's hook up to, to the route to the PlayStation. Alright, so you guys see already. Okay. I'm gonna remove what I have already. I have the charger. Okay, you take these guys off. Attach the stick, the stick, excuse me, the UBS, UBS into the port. Okay, you're going to see this does it turn around, it does not. Okay, so. You gotta turn on your PlayStation because this one you cannot turn it on. you cannot turn your PlayStation on with the with the button. So let me see. No good. So let's make it a little bigger. There we go. So now you see you cannot turn on the PlayStation with this here. So manually get turn it on. Okay. Turn on my uh, PlayStation. See now you see illuminates. Illuminates the buttons very nicely. Okay. You have the um, triangle, square, X, and circle. Illuminate quite well. Bring it into the camera. All right, I'm using my phone to record this video. Okay. 
So now, I have a phone on tripod. So this, put the video onto it. All right, so now, into it, into my code. All right. So now, can you see? You yeah, have their um, just like the PlayStation 4 um, um, blue light, but remember it's cord, it's not wireless. Okay, so let's go to a game, let's go to uh, play some baseball. Okay. So far, the feel, like I said, the analog compared to the analog uh, to the Elite. All right, and I have a cover on my Elite as well. So, move it. Actually, it's the same size. Excuse me. It just looks small. It's the same size. Same the correction. It's the same size. Same size. See, I, you see, I just came accustomed of having my uh, covers on here. That's what looks smaller. I use, I use my um, my covers on these guys here. That's what looks smaller. That stands to be corrected. It's the same size. The same size. Okay, so we're going to um, put the baseball on. So now let's see. Someone is for the kids. And the kids at one. Ah, first totally different from this controller to this controller. See the difference? Oh. You see PlayStation? Totally different. Xbox layout, PlayStation layout. Pitch, uh, pitch text uh, controller, Sony's. All right, totally different. I feel at home holding this guy's here. All right. So now, let's see. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. Hi, you want me here. Welcome to the show. Do a quick game, quick. Do a quick game, quick. This how it feels. Of course, we Yankees. We got my Yankee Stadium, of course. All right. I just want to see how it feels. Oh, it feels good. Versus the PlayStation, feel like an Xbox controller in my hand. The feel is similar, similar to uh, to Elite um, cover, similar. You know, but I like how it illuminates the buttons. You see that? I like this, I play for the guys. MLB, the show's got this one see how it feels. Eduardo Rodriguez is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. What do we need to know here, Danny? Eduardo Rodriguez has come a long way in a short period of time. Really needs right. to command the oh, really feels. A lefty that brings a big Let's arm see. and a big okay. power fastball. 93 to 96 miles an hour. A See, your home button is the PlayStation button. Would would be your PlayStation button on your controller of the um, original Sony's. So that's your home key. Home key, and then you do the same thing as you did with your um, PlayStations. The cord, we're gonna tangle it. 
Oh, uh, rattle, rattle, excuse me. And it's not braided, okay, folks? It's not braided. So, um, I hope it lasts. And again, I want, didn't want to go out into my pocket to spend all this money. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back. Let's see how it feels. And I'm batting now, too. First pitch of the you end, see the vibration? On its way. Okay. Feels good so far. First touch. Feels good to the first touch. Responsives. Analog. Feels good, folks. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah, you see? Okay. Figure with a bat okay. in his hands always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage. So far, so good, folks. So far, so good. So far, so good. It don't feel cheap. It feels good. It feels just like an Xbox controller. So just like an Xbox controller. So I'm comfortable already with it. All right. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. He uh oh. It out to left field. Well, Smack the home run. Got a home run. So I'm liking it so far, folks. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. That feels good, folks. It feels good. Again. I like illuminates. If I turn light off, it, well, not light because it's daylight, well, but you can see it illuminates. Awesome, man. I like it. You can't play guys up in the sky, I like so it. List this one up see, I mean, and here. if it's dark, I have all my stuff illuminated with my LED lights as well, so it's going to be a nice to kick to it. Now, in the back of it, you have, I'm going to tell you guys also, I have a big kick. In the, in the back, you can choose from your. Um, PlayStation 4, 3, and also your um, Android. So uh, it's this, there's no, oh, and also, hmm, key factor. And also you have your, your headphone jack as well. Which I'm gonna try to put, put my headphone jack right in now, put it into it. Put my headphones on, headphones on. Okay. So now my headphones is on now, okay. So now I put my headsets. All right. Let's see. All right, still playing it. Now you can't you can't control your your headphones volume not through the controller so um so far so good still I'm impressed so far folks I'm impressed I'm impressed all right so has this works You see, so far so good. All right, I just want to play one inning with them. This one, and please act. We'll take the more. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. First impression is a great impression, and I tell you, 
It feels just like an Xbox controller in my hand. So I'm impressed, folks. Again, um, if you're like Xbox, like myself, and not happy with the PlayStation controllers, again, totally different from from this to this to this. Okay, if you like use the Xbox, to me, you love using the Xbox. That's me. There you go. It's a price. The price you cannot beat it. Inexpensive. You're not spending on the lay on it. I paid 28 bucks for it. So, folks, if you're looking for a controller, not to break the pockets, I highly recommend it. I don't do that that often. I highly recommend it. First impressions. I'll let you know. I do a post a post review if anything dif differ from today's. But to the touch, to the feel, I'm impressed. And um, to be honest, speaking of the only downforce I have, I know I had an, another reviewer stated that you you, you can't um, you can't talk. I haven't streamed yet, so um, I'll let you know about that. But um, to hear it, you can hear it. Yes, you could. Um, do you get me to do a follow-up um, review to it? I do so. Oh, I didn't notice this as well. This is pretty cool. Now you see they have the edge shaved like. So therefore, once you hold it, you hold it like this. So you're not putting pressure onto your palm. Okay? It's smart. And I'm surprised Microsoft didn't do that. But you see here, the, this is uh, I have a scuff, um, scuff uh, grips. And the scuff grips you see here, it's rounded at the edge. So if you do hold it, it can numb your, your, your palms if you hold it tight enough. And I recognize, I recognize that into this now. That's very clever. You see here, you see how it's shaved. Okay, so therefore you hold in the game, the game like this. It's not pressing against your palm, but it can, can, it can become tender, but not you can numb that part right there. That's pretty smart, fellas. Wow, I just noticed that. That's pretty smart. So I'm surprised, again, Microsoft didn't do that patent. That's a smart patent, folks. But you see here, it's rounded. This is rounded versus this is shaved, round and shaved. Wow, interesting folks, interesting. So, again, footnote folks, footnote. So, if you guys have, um, if your hands cramp a lot or sweat, like mine does a lot, I want, I want to see when I'm do gaming, do that, is, is that a difference of my uh, hands sweating a lot? Uh, that's clever, that's clever. So, already, I feel this will be a longevity control of playing long times. Hopefully, the build will also last me. With the analog stick, the analog stick is, stick is stiff to the fact it's new, so you expect that. You expect that, and it's responsive, and you can push down as well. Hey guys, listen here, I'm quite impressed. Inexpensive purchase, and for like high end, you know it's it's not lightweight and it's not heavy. It's like between, so it feels comfortable. And when I do game, I game like this, folks. I I do like this. So in gaming, let's see here. So let's do a quick pitch and share some fields. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Do that strike right there at the corner. I'm impressed, folks. I'm impressed. This is the, this, I'm, I'm glad I purchased this because I, I was uh, on the fence of getting another one, a different type. But I'm glad I went with this one because it plays also with PS3. So, oh, as a matter of fact, you guys, no, so eight minutes left in the video. But, folks, I'd probably do another one on, the, on my PS3 to show you guys how, how good it works as well. But, awesome, folks, awesome. Um, if you're on the fence, Get off the fence, get it.
get it. And you guys see me from opening to now, and I play the ending, smack the home run. So the time is just on, on point. Oh, you're gonna say, hey, because uh, you, you, you was hitting with, with, uh, with Judge. You might be right, but good first impression, folks. Again, this is um, Pitch Tech um, controller for the PS4, PS3, and Android. Um, with the Xbox format layout, LED lights up, the LED lights on your um, on your um, on the buttons. So light go on there. You also have uh, a jack port. Um, I can hear it. I'm not certain you, you could talk to it. I'm not certain I haven't, I haven't done that, that function yet. But the cool part I like the most the shave part for their own controller. So once you hold it in your palm and it's not rounded, it, so it's not pinching your nerve or um, impressing your, um, your hands or your hands sweat. I like that, folks. Clever device. Clever uh, instruction. Design. Very clever. All right, folks. You guys got a full video. I think I'm the only one that made a full video of this sort. But please, if you guys like myself, I was going back and forth with one person, two person with video of this controller, but I had to show you more intense. So, if you person like myself and like the Xbox for yourself, I love it. So, this is no brainer. Again, I'm glad I chose, chose this one versus the, um, the cordless one. It was a little cheaper, but like uh, I said, this, this plays PS3, so it's a winner. Alright folks, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was more informative than others. If so, um, please check it out, spread the word. Alright folks, have a good one.